honestly, the hamburger was not on my menu mm -hmm. at the beginning. I was hoping to... I didn't... I think maybe at the very beginning I was hoping to avoid the hamburger altogether because it had never... I've never been terribly, like, um, needy person, and though I like to eat a hamburger every once in a while, I didn't feel I had confident in making a really great hamburger. And I really knew that if I ha was going to make a hamburger, it had to be a really good one. And so I kind of shied away from it, and I came up with the hot beef, which I thought was a really great alternative, and it was. But after the first three months, I realized that I had to just do my research and ask around and come up with a really good hamburger. I'll have one of those. Can you, can you actually, actually instead, of, instead of fries, can I get a salad instead? Please. Burger with salad? Would you like bacon and chicken? I'm going to go simple today. Simple? Yeah, thanks. So, regular burger with salad? Okay, that's good. Um, can I get a burger rare, please? Uh, with uh, cheddar. Burger rare with cheddar? Yep. And fries? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you very much. Here we go. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. And with the fries. And with the fries. Yes. Enjoy. So. Since you led into it, how did you come up with a really good hamburger? I talked to friends. You know, I, um, I did a little bit of research on the internet, but mostly I I spoke with my very good friend Colin Griffin, who is who was at the time the chef of Emberger, and knows everything about a hamburger. You know, um, I spoke with my sous chef Matt, and we you know we discussed what we would you know what we do. I'd already found the bun, like I knew what bun I was going to use, but I was, you know, um, AV from Snowden was kind of pushing me to have the sesame bun, because that's what they make, is the sesame bun, and you have to specially make the poppy seed bun. So I was really like, you know, I was like, I don't know, he's not going to do it for me, you know, it was like a bit of a, it was a bit of a deal. And finally, I, yeah, so I, you know, I came up with a combination that I thought gonna work and we we tried it for staff meal and then we sort of adjusted it a little bit and that was it like then we like that, that you go in leaps and heads abound it's we're, we're still talking about the bun right now <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I I basically you know we figured out what percentage of fat we wanted that mm -hmm. never ever changed we figured out what that, we wanted and that is 25 percent mm -hmm. we figured out what seasoning we wanted in there and that really mm -hmm. never changed and then we figured out basically the quantities we mm -hmm. trial and aired the quantities of the seasoning what, what, and what are, what are the seasonings you use um it's it's really straightforward salt <laughs> pepper <laughs> there's a little bit of breadcrumb mm -hmm. yeah because yeah that's the sort of thing we're upon having seen it be made it's i have in my head this is how I want my burger made. This is how I want my burger done. That's a great burger. And then you saw how I made my burger. <laughs> and you were like, what the hell are you doing? Okay. We are recording. Um, yeah, this is the Nouveau Palais Burger. It is uh, one of the specialties on their menu. It is the uh, probably one of their more popular items, according to everybody that I speak to. As you can see from here, there is a toothpick. Do not eat the toothpick. It is very dangerous. She actually described it as a sexy little toothpick. That is a sexy little she toothpick. She explained it as a sexy little toothpick because it has the, uh, not saran wrap, but the, the, frilly. The, the frilly plastic stuff on the top. I got stiffed on the frillies. Uh -huh. Then we have a bun. We have some lettuce. We have some onions. We have a slice of tomato. And then underneath we have our cheese and we have our burger patty. Below that is some mayonnaise and then there is the bottom of the bun. 
I asked for mine rare. We shall see how it is done. If you notice, the uh, bun itself has some poppy seeds on it. And then it comes as we look over here with some very nice shoestring fries and a pickle and some coleslaw. Now I'm ready for you to eat the burger. Don't eat the toothpick. All right. Patty looks like it's not overly done, which is great. It's going to be juicy. Let's see. Mm. It's not a purest burger. The burger is seasoned, has a great flavor to it. It almost tastes barbecued, but it's not overcooked. Has a, it's a nice medium rare, a little bit pink in the middle, but it's, that's fine by me. Some people may not like it. Mayo's nice. The bun isn't too sweet. It's nice texture. It's flaky, has a good crust on the outside. And it's almost, it, you almost think it's too big for the whole sandwich, but it actually has a good balance. You got a few poppy seeds on the top too. She, she says these are from Snowden Bakery, but you know, I, I think that this is a perfect bun for this. It's a very good burger. Delicious, nice, crisp lettuce. Anything else? No, I think good. Let me get you one more bite. Mm. On, it's recording now. Okay, so let's put this on this side of the microphone. And yes, the complicated thing now is holding the camera with one hand. So I apologize for the shakiness. Why don't and I hold it? Here, have a hand. I like this. Possessive, aren't you? Uh huh. Very. It's my choice, my baby. Holding the camera with one hand and then trying to eat the burger with the other and then trying to describe the burger eating sensation. Okay, we have burger in hand. Oh. Now the burger's in hand. Mm -hmm. I got a large mouthful of bun, which I'm not certain is a good thing, but I also did get a little bit of the burger, and the burger is definitely rare. I'm very, very happy that the burger is rare. It's... Oh, that was a fry. Yeah, keeping the... Figuring, oh, that's where the, where the uh, sweet spot is. Okay. <laughs> Okay. The lettuce is not coming through at all. The burger, the burger itself is delicious. Um, it's yeah. It, looking at it, I'm not certain if you can see it. Let's see if we can do the close up here. Um, if you look at it, it's the sort of thing where you can see that it is a. It's definitely been a seasoned patty because you can't, really can't see any of the strands of the uh, grind anymore. Yeah. No. Uh, you were saying? No, it's definitely mi it's mixed in season. But it's done well where you don't lose the characteristics of the burger. It actually complements rather than over, over the flavor, or mask the flavor. No, it has a very meaty, doesn't it, it's, yeah, it, 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 it reminds me very much. I'd almost uh, go so far as to say that uh, Gita uh, had the same mother as I did because it reminds me very, very much of the burgers I had when I was growing up. And, uh, yeah, now I'm going to put down the camera and I'm just going to continue eating because, uh, yeah, I'm hungry. We don't put eggs into our hamburgers here, but, but I grew up mm -hmm. putting an egg into my hamburger and like all kinds of stuff. Honestly, my mother, I used to put so much stuff like mustard and Worcestershire mm -hmm. and all this stuff into my hamburger, you know, when I was a kid. But now it's we really really simplified it. I really want like I want it to taste meaty. I want it to be juicy. I want there to be a really great slice of tomato, mm -hmm. some nice homemade you know mayonnaise, nice crispy mm -hmm. lettuce, and then very 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 important is very thinly sliced onions. Mm -hmm. That's my feminine yeah. touch. I thought it was a sexy toothpick. <laughs> oh, the sexy toothpick also very important. Yes, the sexy toothpick is very very important. <laughs> um, when you talk about testing, did you test different uh, butchers? Did you test test different cuts? No, I uh, I talked to my butcher at Tours at, at, at uh, in 
at uh, the Westmount um, Water Market. at Water Market, and um, you know, I mean, yes, we talked about cuts and all that stuff, but the reality is, is that our burger is nine dollars mm -hmm. and ninety five cents with fries. Mm -hmm. So we're not going out and making filet mignon burgers for people. Yeah, That's filet impossible. Filet mignon burgers would be hard. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, with lots of fat or whatever. <laughs> Alright, take, take this out to table uh, 16. Have you met everybody in here? No, I haven't met anybody at all. This is Laura. Hi. Howdy. Good to see you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. I'm Zeke and I'm doing the burger report. Up there.
Thank you very much. That's a beautiful burger. I'd say that's oh, a very yeah. presentable burger. You want to see the fries go on? Uh, yes, I do. I want to do good things, but mm -hmm. I also want to do things that are affordable. Yeah. So I want it to be accessible and affordable for for people. Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not out to make that burger a seventeen dollar burger. No. I want to keep that burger at a ten dollar mm -hmm. burger. You know, and you know, I think that I think we found that nice mm -hmm. that nice medium. Now uh, even sometimes wear. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Well, you know, I, I'm not scared. That's the thing is, I know where my meat's coming from, mm -hmm. and I trust these guys completely. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we get our meat in on a very, very regular basis, and I, I have no fear. Like I'm working with professionals. I am a professional. Mm -hmm. We treat our, we treat our food with respect here, and like serving a rare burger, it, it just doesn't even, it, it mm -hmm. doesn't even phase me to do it. Mm -hmm. Our standard is to serve our burger medium. That's mm -hmm. the standard. I want to cut into a burger and see a nice rosé. That's what I ask for from my cooks. That's what I get from my mm -hmm. cooks. And that's what the client gets unless they, you know, mm -hmm. they, uh, they specify. And we don't get burgers back. <laughs> and then uh, the tomato. You said the tomato was really important. Where are you sourcing your tomatoes? And right what, now what there's January? tomatoes are abundant. Yeah. You know, so it's hard not to. That's why I don't understand. Like sometimes I go to places, I'm like, how could you put this crappy tomato mm -hmm. into a when there's all these great tomatoes that you know for free basically. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, uh, I deal with Beery a lot. So right now I'm not getting my tomatoes from Beery because I can you know I can get a very mm -hmm. decent field tomato elsewhere. But Beery's kind of they're ahead of the pack mm -hmm. and um, and they. they they do hot house tomatoes right into the mm -hmm. right like early spring into the late you know, late late fall. So you can usually get tomatoes and get tomatoes from them most of the time. Mm -hmm. I can't find them somewhere else. And then outside of that, well, I have to. I I'm very picky. I just I have to look. I'm looking in the market. Sometimes mm -hmm. they come, you know sometimes they come from Mexico, mm -hmm. but I do my best to always. You know, I'll spend money on mm -hmm. I'll spend money on tomatoes that people would be shocked. You'd be shocked at the the price of tomatoes mm -hmm. in the winter and what I will spend on tomatoes in order to ensure that people can have that nice slice of tomato in their in their burger. It gets very expensive. <laughs> yeah, but it's worth it to, mm -hmm. for me because I, you know, I w it would kind of break my heart a little bit if I put in some something that I would I wouldn't need or mm -hmm. that you know I won't deem interesting mm -hmm. leaf. And then we have next on, on the list the onion. Yeah the onion. Oh that one I stole from um yeah I stole like little pieces, you know, from all different kinds of mm -hmm. people. <laughs> uh that I took I took from uh Lester's up the street. They have a sandwich up there called the Romanoff and it's um thin sliced uh, smoked turkey on pumpernickel bread with uh, mayonnaise and then they, and then they they take like regular cooking onion and they slice it really 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 thin mm -hmm. and then they put that on um yeah so mm -hmm. so I, I that's what i wanted i i want to like eat a burger and like you know crunch into mm -hmm. like a big thick slice of onion yeah. i want like delicacy mm -hmm. there's something very delicate about Thank <laughs> you.